I began to see my symptoms as defining personality traits instead of what they were. Side effects of a troubled mind. When people in my life told me that I was negative, difficult and unfriendly, I believed that was who I was deep down inside instead of acknowledging that I was in deep pain. I embodied my illness and my illness became who I was in my mind. Hello all, my name is Shambhavi and these were some of my favorite lines from the book that we are going to be discussing today which is I've never been unhappier by Shaheen Bhatt. So let's just quickly begin with the book review. I read this book in February 2020 and coincidentally it was February in 2018 when I felt that my mind was not happy at all. So it was February 2018 when my mental health reached an abysmal depth and I was troubled beyond comprehension. Nothing at all made me happy and I was nowhere close to where I wanted to be in life. Every single day felt like a drudgery which I wanted to avoid and undoubtedly it was one of the most painful periods of my life. Since then, the healing has been very gradual and it has taken a lot of time and to be honest, it is still an ongoing process. There are still days when I try to lock all doors around myself, but now I tend to open them sooner as compared to what I would have done before. So I have had my own tryst with mental health issues and this is why I picked up this book, which was I Have Never Been Unhappier, which was written by Shaheen Bhatt. So it is a very very well written book on mental health issues and it primarily focuses on eating disorder, anxiety, clinical depression, uh, suicidal tendencies and most importantly the misconceptions which surround all of these topics. It is an autobiography written by Shaheen Bhatt on her own experiences with depression and it mainly talks about how to live with it, how to tackle the stigma which is associated with it and finally how to actually attempt to recover from it. So in recovery, she has first of all talked about how we have to first accept that something is wrong or not normal with us. Then secondly, we have to seek help from our family and our loved ones. And finally, it is all about having self-love and positive self-talk with oneself. Uh, so basically this is the premise of the book and it is a very very short book that is the number of pages are extremely less and you can actually finish the book in less than one hour and if at max in less than two hours. Even if the book is very brief, uh, the author has done a wonderful job at it and I really liked the book and so here I want to tell you what I actually liked in this book. The first and the foremost point that I liked in this book was that it is deeply personal and it takes a lot of courage to be this personal and it takes a lot of courage to share all these things with uh, you know the world. So you will see that there are also some snippets from her personal journal and there are also some very very personal feelings that she has shared and I'm sure that this must have been very difficult for her um, because all of us who write journals will understand that the most important thing that we keep thinking about is that oh my god nobody should touch my journal nobody should read what is in it and that is the kind of privacy we want with our journals and so if someone is uh, actually you know taking uh, a photo of it and sharing it with everybody I think it, it requires a lot of guts so I would say that this is something which I liked most about the book she has not restricted herself from sharing something and that has given so much of more uh, substance to the book and it has made her journey seem actually real and you can actually connect with it and if you have gone through it then you will be able to connect with her in an instant as it did with me uh, so the second most important thing that I liked about this book was that the writing is extremely gripping for a non-fiction book. It has a great flow and relevance throughout the book and uh, you know whenever you read a non-fiction book you will see that okay it doesn't seem connected, the paragraphs don't seem really connected. So I think if you are able to read a non-fiction book as a story I think that is something which the author should be credited for and it doesn't feel like a story scattered paragraphs it actually feels like a very good flow also as I said that it is a very short book so it can be completed in almost an hour and that makes the session very compact but very impactful now the third thing which I think is the biggest 
plus and the biggest positive point of this book is that there is no romanticization of mental health problems there is no romanticization of depression in this book and that was such a great relief to read i mean whenever you are reading a book on mental health or maybe any post on it etc you will find that people tend to you know uh, romanticize it a lot and they try to tell that as if it is something good as if you have to see some positive aspects of it when there are none these let us face it that these emotions are extremely painful and sad and there is nothing good about it and no person will voluntarily want to undergo these emotions so i think it is very important for us to be natural in our approach whenever we are talking about the subject because any one of us who has gone through it will understand how painful those days are and how even you know you don't even want to get up from your bed for a single day you don't want to talk to anybody it feels it feels your heart feels so heavy so i was so relieved when i read it because uh, i'm sure that if if she would have like kind of given a positive aspect to depression like most people do i think i would have stopped reading that book instantly so this is a very big plus point for the book and she has actually presented the matter as they are in real life that is something that i really liked about this book The fourth thing that I want to say is that the book is extremely researched and it is replete with references. So this gives a lot of credibility to the book and it gives a lot of backing to the points that the author is trying to make. And as a reader, you are also assured that okay, she has written this because she read this in this scientific paper or in this scientific book. So there is a proof that this is actually true. And if there are certain strategies which are mentioned for a recovery or something, and if you want to follow those strategies, you can actually rely on them without thinking that are they just picked from google or something so i think that was very very important and i loved how much research has went into the making of this book so that made me actually complete the book and without even thinking for a second if i should trust something or not and lastly i want to talk about the fact that how the author has clearly addressed in the first part of the book itself that all the privileges sh- that she has had in her life and mostly we face these kinds of comments like why are you even sad why don't you look at that person who has lesser than you and why don't you feel happy i mean that is such an irrational kind of an advice and i really liked this quote from the book which goes like your pain like your fingerprint is unique to you and i think that this line is so powerful and it clearly indicates that it is totally okay and it is totally justified if you are feeling pain because of something and you know if you are not feeling good despite having it all as they say just like anybody can be affected by physical health in the same way mental health doesn't really discriminate among people and so if someone tells us that uh, that person is not going through a good time or if that person is feeling depressed then i think the least that we can do is say this dialogue to that person that you know why are you even feeling sad look at that person that person has nothing so feel happy about it so that is very very irrational and i am so glad that it has been addressed in such a nice way in the book So yeah these are all the things that I really liked about this book and now coming to the fact that who should read this book or to whom I am recommending this book so I would like to recommend it to anybody who is going through it or who knows a very dear person or a dear friend who is going through it or if you are just someone who wants to know more about these things to be honest i think it will include all of us because we all go through these kinds of feelings at least once in our lifetimes and sometimes some of us might have to struggle it for longer bits of time and sometimes it gets even deeper for some people so if you are one of those people then i highly recommend you to read it and when i read it i felt so much better not because it provided some instant solutions but because i felt really nice that you know i'm not alone and that is the main thing that the book also wants to tell you that you are not alone in this and there are so many people who are also going through this so you know it is a collective kind of a thing life is very beautiful but sometimes our minds can force us to believe that it is the ugliest thing ever just like i said you have to always keep this in mind that you are not alone in this and you have to fight every single day you have to make efforts every single day and you will be able to do that because uh, you are much stronger than what you think you are and this is a message from the book as well as from my side and i really hope that the book will help you in conclusion i want to say that depression is not pretty and it is as real as it can get it takes a toll on 
almost every aspect of your life and so if you are going through it you need to understand that this is a problem which needs a solution which needs to be solved and it is not going to suddenly disappear itself one day and if unsolved it tends to take a huge shape and the pace with which you start falling into darkness becomes exponential in nature we tend to take too many precautions for our physical health then why do we shy away from doing the same thing with our mental health why are we shy to talk about it or uh, address those problems i think we should definitely do that i think it is very important to take care of our minds and uh, lastly i would like to say that the book could not have been written in a better way and i really appreciate the author for writing it i think it is a wonderful book and we all can learn a lot from it so i have put the link to this book in the description box below and you can directly click it and you know you can buy it if you want to and i hope you enjoyed the video and liked this book review and if yes then please comment down below uh, what you felt about the review and if you have read it then please tell me how you found the book with this i want to take your leave and we'll meet next time with another book and another book review and discussion so thank you to all of you for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe if you still haven't stay safe have a good day bye